Well, good day, YouTubers. And you join me pretty much at the same spot where I ended my previous Lancaster travel video. Just down there. And I had to look at the date of when that video was. It was so long ago. It was the 13th of December 2020. Almost five months ago. Plus, because the Lancaster was shut for its winter maintenance program. Uh, so as you can tell, I am chomping at the bit to get going. And I'm going to get out of here. At long last, leaving Lancaster after a wait of five months. In fact, it's a full two years since I got onto the Lancaster and I'm only just now getting around to completing it. Lots of brand new student accommodation. How come the students get all the fancy looking places? Around about seven miles today to the little town of Carnforth. Leaving Lancaster, the city slowly thins out over about two miles, where we arrive at the canal's probably most famous landmark, the Loon Aqueduct. Then we continue on through very pleasant winding countryside, past Hessbank. Bolton Le Sands and we soon after arrive at Carnforth where I'll moor up for the night. Always been a favourite of mine Lancaster. Once predominantly industrial but today commerce of a more modern nature and of course an overwhelming number of students. Lancaster is 
very well known for its university. Hence why many of the old warehouses have now been converted into student accommodation. Not that you'd know, but today is Saturday. And not just any Saturday, it's a bank holiday weekend. The first bank holiday weekend since the restrictions ended. So where are the boats? One thing this whole episode's taught me is just how much I enjoy continuous cruising. I enjoy the travelling. I enjoy the not knowing what's up ahead. I enjoy the fact that if you don't like the neighbours, you can move on. And I also enjoy the running low on food bit and wondering if the village popping up has got a spa shop or something like that. And hoping it has things that you want like milk or tea bags or anything other than oven ready meals. Suddenly the canal breaks out into countryside. If I'm not mistaken, after this bend will be the Loon Aqueduct. Yay, there's a McDonald's! Can't remember the last time I went in a McDonald's. And I think I can see the Loon Aqueduct just down there. Yes, very, very understated. No indication whatsoever that I'm approaching one of the most famous architectural wonders on the canal system. Quite an impressive span. Approximately 600 feet. Completed in 1797 and cost the grand sum of 48,000 320 pounds, 18 shillings and sixpence. The River Loon. And now we continue on to Hessbank about two and a half miles away. And I believe the sun may be trying to break through. This part of the Lancaster is proving to be a very pleasing mix of rural and urban and light industrial. Very pretty. Yes, I've been missing the uh, just the tranquility of it all, the steady pace. Yeah, it slows you down, it slows your mind down, it slows your body down. 
very, very, very relaxing indeed. Bridge 111 and Lancaster just suddenly disappears and we're into open countryside. Quite literally, the first boat of the day. This road is so new, it's not on my map. So I'll have to find out what it is and put it on the screen. Now we're in proper country. And just like that, the sun's come out. This bank makes its first appearance and in the distance the Pennines and the Irish Sea and the Lake District. Ooh, ominous dark clouds. Oh dear. Well, there's plenty of 14-day moorings, but no boats. It's a sad fact of life nowadays. 
as I've said before, when you come across lots of lovely moorings in such a lovely sunny spot, but no boats on them, there is a reason for it. And no sooner does the sun appear, then it goes again. <laughs> ah well. See? These moorings, not so good. But there's boats on them. Back there, really top moorings, no boats. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to moor here for the night. And I'll go to Carnforth tomorrow. Scrub that. I can't get within about three feet of the edge. And hello to Brian and Sue. And there be the Irish Sea and the Lake District in the background. Brian tells me that Carnforth is full. And that between here and Carnforth, mooring up isn't uh, isn't really an option. And to make matters worse, very soon it is going to rain again. It's typical, isn't it? Here's me now looking for a mooring. And apparently, those moorings way back for Hess Bank are absolutely fine. And coming up now is the only swing bridge on the entire Lancaster Canal. And the only hindrance to free forward motion. Well, two of these fine cyclists here are holding it open for me because a lot of these bridges don't like to stay open. How are you doing a fine job there? I hear they're looking for volunteers along here. All very nice, but now I want a mooring. 
and it's only ten past three and the uh, supposed rain hasn't turned up so perhaps I will just carry on to Carnforth provided I can get a mooring of course passing through Bolton Le Sands and Carnforth is around about a mile and a half to go. It is said you can moor up on these pontoons if the tour boat isn't around, which it isn't. What does this say? Well I'm still in the restricted period and of course I've no way of knowing if the packet boat is actually in operation. Still the day is young, well more sort of middle aged, but there's life in the old dog yet. Pesky children. Wouldn't have happened in my day. Right, I can see no sign of the packet boat. I mean, I imagine being a public tour boat, that won't be allowed at the moment. So I think I will stop here as long as this is, uh, looks like there might be a pub here or something. So as long as no one comes running out saying, oh, you can't pull there, mate. Then this might do me. Nope. Even though it's a floating pontoon and away from the canal side, I still can't get near the edge. Still, it's beginning to have the makings of a lovely evening. So I shall go on and see what the situation is like on or before comfort. Right, well I'll have a go here, but uh, I don't fancy my chances. The problem is the Lancaster was built purely for commerce, as were all the canals. They never imagined that people would be leisurely just mooring up apart from at a depot. Nope. Ah, the perils of the liverboard boater. And coming up round here, this must be one of the huge areas that they've repaired and also taken away any possibilities of mooring. <laughs> nice. A large section of the canal was leaking quite badly, so throughout the winter, and until last week, they completely drained a huge section of the canal and relined it or puddled it and rebuilt the towpath. And I have to say, a fine job they've done with it as well.
Here we have this year's winning entry in the Lancashire Rock Laying Championships. It's easy to see why the judges chose this one. Excellent craftsmanship. Not far around this bend then will be Carnforth. Please let there be a mooring. One that I can get near the edge. Here comes Carnforth. And there's a fair few boats there. Oh dear. It isn't looking promising. Nope. Right. Hmm. If this GRP cruiser here moved back, then I could probably get in there. Yep, there would have been loads of room. There's a space there, but I think that's the water point. Well, there's that one there, but I can't moor up at the service point. I just spotted this mooring just as I was going by. It's got rings on it. Oh, please let me get near the edge. Well, it's not ideal because I'm on this bend and uh, when you're more on a bend you're always at the mercy of others boating skills but hey beggars can't be choosers yes that will do me quite nicely very very lucky to have found this <laughs> 